Hello everyone, in this video we will see about uh, micro frontends and how we can create uh, web applications and integrate that as a micro frontend and what are the benefits and advantages that we will get uh, by building a micro frontend. So consider micro frontend as the concept of microservice to the frontend. So we all have known about microservice which is the current industry buzzword. So consider uh, micro frontend is going to be the microservice of frontend. Okay? Um, so in the current uh, trend, right, so we build uh, powerful web applications which is kind of a modern uh, front-end monolith which sits on top of multiple microservices uh, that are uh, powering this website in the back-end. But how about uh, uh, composing these websites into a set of features and then uh, deploying that as an individual web, web application. That's where micro front -ends comes into picture. Uh, let's start with a simple example of building mytrips.com website. Okay, so this is going to provide a hotel service, a flight booking service, and a service to manage orders and payments. So there are three microservices, and each of these microservices will have a respective micro DB. But how about the front end? So in the current trend, we will be building a monolithic front end, be it React JS or Angular. We will be building a monolithic front end which uh, integrates with the other microservice to provide the matrips.com service so that's how it will be built as of uh, today without micro front end uh, architecture perhaps uh, from the agile team's perspective each of this microservices team would form a product team or a feature team but then from the front end perspective they will be cutting across multiple microservices but still they'll be considered as a single product team and there will be dependencies across multiple teams. Now let's apply the micro front end principle. Again micro front end uh, uh, is the word or the term that was coined by ThoughtWorks in 2016 where we can split a set of composable features into an individual web application and make them work make multiple web applications work together uh, which is called as the micro front end which we have seen. Uh, so for our application or for our use case mybookings.com uh, uh, so now we have three microservices hotel service flight service and order service and uh, the initial architecture is to have a common web application which is also called as the uh, front end monolith by applying this micro front end principle we will split the uh, web application into three key pieces one web application will be for hotel the other web application will be for flights and the third web application would be for orders. So we have uh, uh, demarcated uh, the web application uh, into three and now we need all these three web applications to work together and it needs a place to put in so that it can work well together, right? So that's where this host app comes in. So a single, um, uh, a single front end monolith is now split into four uh, front-end uh, uh, applications uh, which is the micro front-end one is for the host application and three is to three is for the respective features and which will be deployed into the host application uh, in this video we will build a simple uh, micro front-end using YJS and react js as we all know react js uh, is a front-end uh, development uh, framework uh, wherein uh, we will be building uh, components that will operate on the virtual dom and why YJS? So YJS uh, is a modern uh, development framework which has an uh, inbuilt dev server which improves uh, faster uh, load time uh, for the uh, uh, hot module uh, reloads uh, and then uh, it also uh, improves the bundling time. So we will use YJS and ReactJS and build a micro front end. Uh, we will have two web applications. So one web application will be acting as the host app which we have seen in the previous um, uh, section and then the other uh, app will be the container app uh, very similar to our hotel booking app or a flight booking app and then we will be federating the pages between the host app and the container app using white module uh, federation so that's what we will be seeing in this uh, uh, video today let's get into some action so we are going to build two web applications using visual studio as our ide now let me open the Visual Studio IDE. Two uh, web applications uh, using YJS and React as the uh, framework. Uh, please note uh, throughout this example I have used Node.js version 18.18.2 .18 
and I have used NVM to manage my node versions. So now to create the uh, YJS project, let me issue this command and follow the line by line instructions given in the terminal. So it asks for a project name. So give a project name like front end one. So this is going to be our uh, host web application and it asks to select a framework. You can choose one of the framework. Predominantly YJS uh, has been created for Vue 3 and then it added support to other frameworks. Uh, so we will be creating a, a React JS application. So I'll be selecting React. And then it asks uh, to select uh, between TypeScript and JavaScript. I'm going to use JavaScript. So you are done with creating the first uh, web application, which is the host. Now I'll be creating the second web application, which is the container app. Okay, so now I'll be giving the name as frontend2 and then select uh, React and select JavaScript. So you are done. So now you have two web applications, React.js web applications that is created frontend1 and frontend2. Let's uh, move into the frontend one folder and then we'll issue npm install command to install all the dependencies. So once the dependencies are installed, when you see the folder, you will have the uh, SRC folder and then you will have node modules. Within the SRC folder, you will have app.jsx and main.jsx, which are by default created by the YJS project creation. Apart from that, uh, there is page1.jsx and page2.jsx. So let's open uh, app.jsx. So here I have created a menu uh, with two uh, items, home and page two. This home is a page that is rendered from this app, which is the host app or the front end one app and page two will be rendered from the container app or from a different uh, web app or the remote web app. Okay. So to create a menu and a navigation, I have used react router DOM. So you can look into the react router DOM for more details, which is beyond the scope uh, for this uh, video. Uh, so I have created a div and I have added links to two uh, uh, items, home and page two, and then created a routes uh, for the same. So uh, first let's open page uh, 2.jsx, so which is the home page of this host app and uh, it will be rendered from this particular app. So here I have a very simple content. So I'm going to render two images. Uh, so it is called as AI. Um, and it is imported from assets slash uh, a dot png. Okay, so I'm going into assets and then I'm opening into a dot png. So this is the image that will be rendered uh, in page two dot jsx or the home page of uh, front end one app. Okay, uh, so I, I just use the default uh, react js template. I haven't modified much except for the image. Okay, and there is a button. Uh, so that when you click the button, it gives you uh, the number of times the button has been clicked. So this is all about page 2.jsx, which is the home screen. I'll come to page 1.jsx a little later. And then there is this main.jsx. We are not going to touch anything in main.jsx. So we will leave it as is. Okay. So now let's run this application by issuing npm run dev. So it will start the application or yjs will start the application in uh, development server mode. Uh, the application will not be packaged or bundled. So it will be serving the pages as is. So now I have issued npm run dev. And when I hit this URL, so it takes me to the page. So now I click home. You see, there are two images and then a button. So now we will move on to the second application to application. Let's get into the folder and issue npm install command. So it will install all the dependencies. And if you see within front end two again, you have same set of folders. And then there are two files that have been created by uh, the YJS project app.jsx and uh, main.jsx. So we will be just modifying the app.jsx. Again, it's the template react.js code, except that we will be changing the image to the blockchain image. So there is a blockchain uh, PNG image uh, within the assets images folder. Okay, so this is the image that will be rendered uh, uh, when we run this application. Okay, uh, nothing else changes uh, for now. So let's go ahead and issue npm run dev command. 
so there is an interesting thing uh, by default uh, the yjs project runs in the port number uh, 5173 so if you need to modify the port number so now we have two web applications that will be running in the same machine so we need to modify the port number so how will we do that uh, change or how would we modify the port number so it has to be configured in white.config.js so go ahead and add this line so this will customize the port number for the web application okay so now we will issue npm run dev command it will make the application live and running in localhost 5001 so i'm going to click this and if you see there are two images uh, the blockchain images and again there is a button so nothing it's the react js template i just changed the name okay so all set so now how we will be exposing the contents of front end 2 application which is the container application to the front end 1 application which is the host application and this forms the basis for our micro front end so we have two front ends so uh, we will be exposing front end 2 via front end 1 and this is going to happen via white module federation okay so for that you need to uh, do an installation of a module called white plugin federation so you just need to go ahead do npm install and use origin js white plugin federation so you need to issue this uh, uh, installation in both the folders or in both the web applications front end 1 and front end 2 okay so uh, for the sake of time i have already uh, installed the white plugin federation module next step is you need to configure in the white config.js which component from this application will be exposed to the expose it to the host app which is the front end one app so let me open the white config js okay so here if you see so i have imported the plugin federation module and i have configured the federation within the plugin section okay so here i have given the name of the federation as front end 2 and the file name as front end 2 js so keep in mind this front end Two dot js will be the file that will be exposed as a URL to the front end one app slash the host app. Okay, and what we want to expose will go into the exposes section wherein I am exposing the app dot jsx. If you remember, the app dot jsx contain the plain React template with blockchain images in it, right? So I'll be exposing that uh, file or that component of the React JS. in the name of app and then the shared libraries will be react and react dom okay so now i'll be uh, using this federation configuration and then we need to have this build configuration wherein you need to create a es next uh, build target okay uh, only then we will be able to expose the front end 2.js js in the url and last you need to configure this base path okay so here i have given if it is production it will be with the url if it is not it is just the slash so without adding this base path if your app.jsx module refers to any css component or any images that will not get rendered in the host application so it's very critical to have this base configuration within the white config.js so this is the configuration on the container app in our case the front end 2 app let's move on to front end 1 app to consume this configuration again within the white config.js import the federation module and if you see again i have configured the federation component here and here it uses the remote setting to consume the exposed file from front end 2 app okay so here it consumes it from this folder assets folder and this file name if you remember is what we configured in the front end 2.js within the white config.js okay and we have given the name as host app okay so the name is just for reference purpose the key property will be the remote app so now we have consumed the uh js file from the other app and then now we need to use it within our jsx component so here we have page1.jsx and page2.jsx right 
so here page one dot jsx is what the file that will be rendering the exposed component from front end to app so here i have imported app from remote app slash app so this remote app slash app sorry this remote app slash app is the configuration of the federation module in white config dot js okay so i have imported the app and i just used within the div folder that's it you are good to go so now we have configured the module federation between the host app and container app which is the front end one and front end two app so let's get started okay oh sorry there is one more key configuration that needs to happen in the container app which is the front end two app so normally with white js and react when you run the application using npm run dev it will expose the files as is it will not bundle it or package it but for federation to work you need to bundle it and package it so for that purpose uh, we will make an entry in package dot json since it's going to be in the development mode i create a preview script where in that i have white build and white preview so which bundles packages and exposes the components the assets and js and all the um, static uh, assets as a uh, through the url and so please note uh, in this uh, preview script you have port and strict port which is different from the server port that is configured in white config.js so this port 5001 uh, we are defining the white preview to be exposed on 5001 it, it, it is not the typical uh, uh, dev uh, server it is the preview server and then the strict port option enforces that the application has to be exposed via port number 5001 if not exit the application from starting okay so now that we have uh, created uh, the script preview script let's run it by using npm run preview okay so if you see the white build builds all the files into package uh, and then exposes it on port 5001 in localhost so now this is exposed so we will then see how it is embedded within the host app or with the front end one app let me go over there okay um so i'm having this terminal so let me restart again let me issue so it's okay to have npm run dev in front end one app or the host app okay so i'm issuing it so if you see the app is exposed in localhost 3001 so you see home and page 2 let me go to home this is the component from the front end one application now let me click page 2 and this is component from the front end two application so now you have successfully built a micro front end application with two web apps one being the host app and the other being the container app okay So we have reached end of the session. So thanks everyone for watching this video. Hit the like button if you really like this video. Share it to your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.